Good morning, St. Pius. This is Eli Elliott. And Austin Garza. And you're watching The, the X, X Factor. Factor. Please stand for prayer and pledge. We will continue saying our St. Joseph Novena this week. Please remember to ask for St. Pius the Tenth community's health and continued growth and that there can be peace in the world. O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Christ Jesus our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer you thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O St. Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, we're on a Wednesday block schedule. Today's saint of the day is St. Francis of Rome. Francis started a lay order of women attached to the Oblates of Mary. She knew this was her destiny at age 11 when she was forced into marriage. She had been right in discerning her original vocation. She just had the timing wrong. God had had other unfortunate plans for her in between. Happy birthday, Fran, man. Yeah! Luke is so loud. Next Wednesday, we will show our appreciation to St. Joseph with our annual St. Pius X, St. Joseph's Table. Cookies are needed. You can sign up to bring in cookies in the comments and earn one service hour. Service hour opportunities are posted in the comments. Please sign up to show service to St. Joseph. <laughs> okay. There are a lot of different ways you can help. I need those, but not There are here. lots of different ways you can help. Yeah. We will start our annual Penny War competition today. Bring in pennies for your tribe and silver coins or cash for the other tribes. The tribe who finishes closest to positive wins. You don't give it, that means pennies are positive. Everything Silver is. coins are negative. The balloons um, are negative. Look for posters around school and ask your tribe leaders for more details. Raffles will begin today and run until Wednesday, the 16th during lunch. Tickets are $1 a chance or $5 for six chances. $1. Six doubloons. Raffle items include gift cards to your favorite go-tos and more. Hey, just a reminder guys, that front parking lot is just for seniors. Sophomores and juniors, it's out of the way for you guys to park there, and it's not very, it's like, also doesn't make you like cool. Just stop parking in the front. St. <laughs> Pius Theater is proud to present Curious Savage this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Here's Joe with some more information on what to expect. As we all know, the play Curious Savage is happening this week at St. Pius. So we decided to interview a couple members of the play to see what their thoughts have been about it. What has been the most memorable part of the play this year? Um, probably having so many lines to memorize and getting to dye my hair blue every day. Um, definitely just working through the show with all of our castmates. We have a great time working on blocking and memorizing lines together because we're all friends. So yeah, just being with the cast. The most memorable part of the play is during pre play practice. Mary was Learned so much about theater and the theater Curious Savage. Just a reminder. Uh, happy birthday to Emma Warboys and Manuel Chavez. Happy birthday. Today's lunch is taquitos. Yeah. All right. All right. Have a good day. Yep.